Hello mga kawawmat! In this video, we are going to solve equation transformable to quadratic equation including rational algebraic equation. But before that, let's have a short activity. Perform the indicated operation, then express your answer in simplest form. 1 over x plus 2x over 5. So first, Kunin muna natin yung LCD. And the uh, LCD is 5x. Next, multiply both sides by the LCD. So, gagawin natin, imumultiply natin si 5x kay 1 over x. So, makakancel natin dyan si x. So, may iwan si 5. So, si 5, imumultiply natin kay 1. And then, 5 times 1, that is 5. Next. Multiply 5x to 2x over 5. So, makakancel natin si 5. So, may iwan si x. So, imumultiply natin si x kay 2x. 2x times x, that is positive 2x squared. So, ayusin lang natin yung arrangement ng numerator natin. So, the answer is 2x squared plus 5 over 5x. Another example, we have x over x plus 1 plus 2 over x plus 2. Again, kunin natin ulit yung LCD. So, ano yung LCD dito? That is x plus 1 and x plus 2. After that, multiply both sides by the LCD. So, una natin gagawin, imumultiply natin yung LCD kay x over x plus 1. So, makakancel dyan yung x plus 1. May iwan sa x plus 2 times natin kay x. And that is x times x plus 2. The answer is x squared plus 2x. So, not multiply natin si LCD kay 2 over x plus 2. So, cancel natin si x plus 2. May iwan si x plus 1. Times natin kay 2. And that is 2 times x plus 1. The answer is 2x plus 2. So, combine the similar terms in our numerator. And that is x squared plus 4x plus 2. Bakit? 2x plus 2x, that is 4x. And this is the answer. x squared plus 4x plus 2 over x plus 1 times x plus 2. Or pwede rin expand yung tong factor nito. Okay. For solving quadratic equations that are not written in standard form, Okay, let's try this equation. Solve x times x minus 5 is equal to 36. So, sa nakikita nyo, yung equation natin ay hindi naka-standard form. So, anong una natin gagawin? Imumultiply muna natin si x times x, that is x squared. Multiply si x times negative 5, that is negative 5x, is equal to 36. And then, lipat natin si 36 sa left side. And that will become x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. So, ito na yung quadratic equation natin na naka-standard form. So, marami tayong way para masolve yung quadratic equation. Pero this uh, equation is factorable. So, uh, we solve this quadratic equation by using factoring. So, the factor of this equation is x minus 9 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, solve for x. For x minus 9 is equal to 0, so the value of x is positive 9. So, nilipat lang natin si negative 9 sa right side. Sa kabilang side naman, x plus 4 is equal to 0. Lipat si 4 sa right side and that is negative 4. So, para sure tayo na ang 9 at negative 4 is a part of the solution, so ang gagawin natin, i-check natin using the original equation. So, ang gagawin lang natin, isa substitute lang natin yung dalawang value ng x natin doon sa original equation. So, unahin muna natin si 9. So, substitute 9 times 9 minus 5. So, alam natin, 9 minus 5 is 4 times 9. This is 36. So, ibig sabihin, this is true. Next, negative 4. Substitute natin si negative 4. So, negative 4 times negative 4 minus 5. And negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9 times negative 4. That is positive 36. Also, a true solution. So, therefore, 
9 and negative 4 is a part of the solution of this equation. Next. x plus 5 squared plus x minus 2 squared is equal to 37. So, unahin muna natin, expand natin yung x plus 5 squared. And that is x squared plus 10x plus 25. And then, expand natin yung x minus 2 squared. And that is positive x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 37. So, next, combine similar terms. Pagsasamahin natin yung magkatulad. So, x squared plus x squared is equal to 2x squared. 10x minus 4x is equal to positive 6x. 25 plus 4, that is positive 29. So, lipat natin si 37 sa left side. So, that will become minus 37 is equal to 0. So, yung quadratic equation na natin is 2x squared plus 6x minus 8. Y minus 8, 29 minus 37, that is negative 8 is equal to 0. So, ito na yung quadratic equation natin na pwede natin kunin yung factor. So, yung factor ng 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 is equal to 0 is um, 2x minus 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, again, solve for x. 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, si negative 2, lipat natin sa right side. So, magiging positive 2. Divide both side by 2. The value of x is 1 x plus 4 is equal to 0. Lipat si positive 4 sa right side. So, yung value ng x natin ay negative 4. Again, para ma-check natin na ang positive 1 at negative 4 is a part of this equation, i-check natin using the original equation. So, this is the original equation. Unahin muna natin si positive 1. So, substitute si positive 1 sa original equation and that is 1 plus 5 squared plus 1 minus 2 squared is equal to 37. So, 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 squared is 36. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So, 36 plus 1 is equal to 37. So, this is true. Next. X is equal to negative 4. Substitute natin si negative 4. Negative 4 plus 5 squared plus negative 4 minus 2 squared is equal to 37. Negative 4 plus 5, that is positive 1. Pos 1 times 1, that is 1. And negative 4 minus 2 squared, that is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 6, that is positive 36. And 1 plus 36 is 37, and this is true. So therefore, 1 and negative 4 is a uh, solution. Next. So solve the rational algebraic equation. We have 6 over x plus x minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2. Kanina sa activity natin, uh, kinuha muna natin yung LCD to solve this equation. So find the LCD. So ano yung LCD niya? That is 4x. And then after that, multiply both sides by the LCD. So multiply natin si 4x kay 6 over x. So, maka-cancel natin si x. May iwan si 4. So, i-multiply natin kay 6 and that is 24. Next, multiply natin si 4x kay x minus 3 over 4. So, maka-cancel natin si 4. May iwan si x times x minus 3. And x times x minus 3, the answer is x squared minus 3x. And then, Dito sa kabila, multiply natin si 4x kay 2 and that is equal to 8x. So, lipat natin si 8x sa left side. So, ayusin lang natin. x squared minus 3x minus 8x plus 24. Combine natin si negative 3x minus 8x and, the, and our quadratic equation now is x squared minus 11x plus 24 because negative 3x minus 8x is negative 11x. Ngayon, since factorable itong equation natin, makukuha natin yung factor nyan. So, yung factor nyan is x minus 3 times x minus 8 is equal to 0. Solve for x. 
So, x minus 3 is equal to 0. The value of x is positive 3. Lipat lang natin si negative 3 sa right side, kaya naging positive 3 yan. Then, sa kabila, we have x minus 8 is equal to 0. Lipat si negative 8 sa right side. So, our x is positive 8. Again, para ma-check natin na yung 3 at 8 is a part of the solution, so, uh, we're going to substitute the 3 and 8 sa original equation. So, first, substitute natin si positive 3 sa original equation. So, 6 over 3 plus 3 minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2. 6 over 3, that is 2. And 3 minus 3 is 0 over 4, that is 0. So, 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. So, this is true. Next, 8. Substitute si 8 sa original equation. 6 over 8 plus 8 minus 3 over 4 is equal to 2. So, Yung 8 minus 3 natin, that is 5, 5 over 4. So, 6, 6 over 8, pwede natin kunin yung lowest term. So, that is 3 over 4 plus 5 over 4. So, kapag parehas yung denominator natin, add lang yung numerator and copy the denominator. So, 3 plus 5 is 8, divide 4 is equal to 2. And this is true. Therefore, 3 and 8 is a part of the solution. Another, we have 4 over x minus 5 over x plus 3 is equal to 1. Find the LCD. So, yung LCD natin dito is x times x plus 3. Multiply both sides by the LCD. So, multiply muna natin yung LCD kay 4 over x. So, makakancel natin si x. So, may iwan natin yung x plus 3. Multiply kay 4. The answer is... 4x plus 12. Sunod naman, i-multiply natin yung LCD kay 5 over x plus 3. Maka-cancel natin si x plus 3, may iwan si x. Multiply kay negative 5, so the answer is negative 5x. Dito sa kabilang side, multiply natin itong LCD kay 1, so the answer is x squared plus 3x. So, in this case, yung x squared natin, para maiwasan natin na mag-negative siya, Lahat ng nasa left side, yung ilipat na lang natin dito sa right side para hindi na tayo magkaroon ng negative sa x squared natin. So, ayusin lang natin. So, x squared plus 3x, bakit 3x na lang yan? And then, plus x, bakit positive x na lang? Because 4x minus 5x is negative x. So, pag nilipat natin sa kabilang side, positive x na siya. And then, yung positive 12, nilipat natin, kaya naging negative 12 yan. Combine lang natin yung similar terms dyan, yung 3x plus x. So, yung quadratic equation natin is x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. And then, factor natin yan. So, the factor of x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x plus 6 times x minus 2. Then, solve for x. Solve for x. For x plus 6 is equal to 0, the value of x is negative 6. Then, sa kabila naman, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, the value of x is positive 2. Same process, substitute natin si negative 6 saka si positive 2 sa original equation para uh, to make sure na this is a part of the solution. So, substitute negative 6. 4 over negative 6 minus 5 over negative 6 plus 3 is equal to 1. So, that is true. So, yung positive 2 naman, substitute sa, to the original equation. We have 4 over 2 minus 5 over 2 plus 3 is equal to 1. So, that is also true. Therefore, negative 6 and 2 is a part of a solution. Last, we have x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So, tingnan natin yung given equation. Hindi siya quadratic, di ba? Kasi nasa fourth degree siya. Pero, pwede natin yan isulat in this form. x squared raised to 2 minus 5 times x. Uh, 5, the quantity of x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So, in this form, quadratic na siya kasi in the uh, degree of 2 na. Now, paano natin isolve yan? Gamit si quadratic formula, masusolve natin yung equation na to. We have, so, x squared is equal to negative 
times negative 5. Bakit negative 5? Yeah, that is our value of B. So, positive negative square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. So, yung 4 natin, that is our C, all over 2 times 1. And then, simplify lang natin. 5 positive or negative square root of 25 minus 16 over 2. So, that is 25 minus 16, that is 9. Square root of 9, that is 3. So, paghiwalayin lang natin to para masolve natin yung x natin. So, x squared is equal to 5 plus 3 over 2 and that is 8 over 2. 8 over 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So, x squared, so extract lang natin yung roots kasi x squared yan. So, x is equal to positive negative square root of 4. So, the value of x is positive 2 and negative 2. Yung sa isa naman, x squared is equal to 5 minus 3 over 2. And that is 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So, extract lang natin yung 1. So, x is equal to positive negative square root of 1. So, therefore, the value of x is 1 and negative 1. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.